Welcome to Orchard Sound's Golden Review. There are 105 questions, answers total, including flashcards and multiple choice questions. And the last 25 questions are the multiple choice. If you prefer to go to the multiple choice question directly, you can click on the chapter minute link in the description. So let's go! Where are the testicles developed? The testicles begin to develop in the upper abdomen in the fetus near the kidneys and descend into the pelvis during the fourth week of the gestation. What is cryptokaidism? By 28 weeks, the testicles descend into the scrotum. They may become trapped anywhere along this path and consequently never completely descend into the scrotum. This condition is known as cryptokaidism. What are the functions of the testes, endocrine, exocrine, or both? The function of the testes are both endocrine and exocrine. Where does the spermatogenesis occur? The spermatogenesis occurs within the seminiferous tubules that are found throughout each testicle. Identify the structure in the image. The arrow points to the reedy testis. Tiny seminiferous tubules converge to form the reedy testis, which is located within the mediastinum testis. What is the layer surrounding the testes? Each testis is surrounded by a double layer of tissue called the tunica vaginalis. What is a hydrocele? Hydrocells are scrotal fluid collections that are most commonly found between the two layers of the tunica vaginalis. Beneath the layers of the tunica vaginalis, the testis is also intimately surrounded by a dense fibrous layer of a tissue called what? The testis is intimately surrounded by a dense fibrous layer of tissue called the tunica albuginea. The tunica albuginea extend posteriorly or anteriorly? It extends posteriorly. What is the structure pointed at the arrow? The arrow points to visceral layer. What is a coiled structure that is attached to the testicle and the posterior scrotal wall? The coiled structure is called epididymis. What are the functions of the epididymis? The epididymis stores the sperm so they can mature. It also transports sperm into the ductus vas deferens. The tube that connects the epididymis to the seminal vesicle is called what? It is called ductus vas deferens. The ductus vas deferens is the structure that is surgically interrupted in the surgical procedure referred to as a what? It is called vasectomy. At their junction, the seminal vesicle and the vas deferens combine to create what? They combine to create the ejaculatory duct. Identify the structure in the number 1, 2, 3, and 4. Number 1 is deferent duct. Number 2 is the tail of the epididymis. Number 3 is the reedy testis. And number 4 is tunica albuginea. What is another name of bulb urethral gland?
It is called Cowper gland. What is the function of the bulbar urethral gland? The bulbar urethral gland secretes pre ejaculate fluid that lubricates the penile urethra prior to ejaculation. The testicles receive most of their blood supply from what artery? The testicles are supplied by the testicular arteries. Where does the right testicular vein drain into? The right testicular vein drains into the inferior vena cava. Where does the left testicular vein drain into? The left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein. Identify the structures in the number 1, 2, 3. Number 1 is capsular artery, number 2 is central pedal arteries, and number 3 is transmedial asternal artery. Identify the structure in the arrow. The arrow points to transmediastinal artery. What are the branches of the testicular artery? The branches are testicular artery, capsular artery, centripetal artery, and recurrent rami. Pampiniform plexus converges into three sets of anastomotic veins. Name those veins. Those veins are testicular, deferential, and cremasteric. What kind of transducer is typically used to scan the scrotum? To scan the scrotum, the sonographer should use a high-frequency linear transducer. How thick is the scrotal wall? The scrotal wall thickness ranges between 2 and 8 mm. Normal testicles appear isoechoic, hypoechoic, or hyperechoic. Normal testicles appear isoechoic. What is the size of the adult testicle? Adult testicles measure 3 to 5 cm in length, 2 to 4 cm in width, and 3 cm in thickness. The normal head of the epididymis measure approximately how big? The head of the epididymis is about 10 to 12 mm. The normal epididymis is either blank or slightly more blank than the testis. The normal epididymis is either isoechoic or slightly more echogenic than the testis. The condition of having undescended testis is called what? Undescended testis condition is called cryptokydism. Cryptokydism is associated with what? Cryptokydism is associated with infertility and it has an increase in the risk of testis malignancy. What is the most common cancer found in un undescended testis? Seminoma is the most common cancer found in un undescended testis. Undescended testicles are most often found where? Although they may be found within the abdomen, undescended testicles are most often found just above the scrotum or within the inguinal canal. What is orchiopexy? Orchiopexy is a surgical correction of an undescended testis. 
What are the clinical findings of cryptokinism? We normally find one or both testicles not palpable within the scrotum. What are the sonographic findings of cryptokinism? Sonographically, we find the testes located outside of the scrotum and or the crypto orchid testes will appear hypochoic to the normal testes. What condition is caused by the arterial blood supply to the testicle is cut off secondary to the twisting of the testicle axis? It is called testicular torsion, also known as spermatic cord torsion. What angle degree torsion will result in blocked venous drainage and arterial supply? A 300 degree angle torsion will result in blocked venous drainage and arterial supply. Testicular torsion can be associated with trauma, strenuous exercise, sexual activity, or all of them. Testicular torsion can be associated with all trauma, strenuous exercise, and sexual activity. Patients who are predisposed to develop testicular torsion have a condition known as the what deformity. The condition is known as bell clapper deformity. The bell clapper deformity, a congenital abnormality, describes the situation in which the patient lacks of normal wet fixation to the testis and the epididymis to the scrotal wall. Bell clapper deformity is classed as unilateral or bilateral. Bell clapper deformity is when the patient lacks of the normal posterior fixation to the testes and usually is bilateral. What are the clinical findings of the acute testicular torsion? Normally, the patient presents with testicular pain often during the sleep, also possible pain within the lower abdomen and inguinal region. The testes and scrotum can be swollen, um, nausea and vomiting can be found, and higher positions, painful testes with a horizontal position. What are the sonography findings of the acute testicular torsion? Sonography, we can find acute testicular torsion with an enlarged a spermatic cord, epididymis, and testis, thickened scrotal wall, hypochoic and heterogeneous testis, reactive hydrocele, no intratesticular flow, and decreased intratesticular flow as compared with the asymptomatic testis. What is the testicular appendages torsion? The torsion of the testicular appendages uh, is the most common cause of the acute scrotal pain in the pre-pubertal boys. The appendic testis, appendix epididymis, and appendix vas are appendage, appendages of the testis. What are the embryologic remnants of appendix testis, appendix epididymis, and appendix vas? Appendic testis is Mullerian duct, appendic epididymis is Wolfian duct, appendic vas is mesonephric duct. Where is the appendix epididymis located? The appendix epididymis is located at the head of the epididymis. What is the location of the appendix vas? The appended vas is located between the body and tail of the epididymis. What is the location of the appendix testis? The appendix testis is located between the head of the epididymis and the superior pole of the testis. What is the blue dot sign?
The blue dot sign is the finding of the torsion of the appendic testis. What are the sonography findings of the torsed appendage? It will appear as a small, avascular, hypoechoic, and hyperechoic mass adjacent to the superior pole of the testis. What are the findings of the torsion of the testicular appendage? Patients with torsion of the testicular appendage usually present with acute testicular pain, pain localized to the superior pole of the testis, and with a blue dot sign. What are the sonography findings of the torsion of the testicular appendage? Sonographically, we can find a normal intratesticular flow, a small avascular hypochoic or hyperchoic mass adjacent to the superior pole of the testis, and reactive hydrocele and scrotum wall thickening. A simple fluid collection within the scrotum is referred to as a what? A simple fluid collection within the scrotum is referred to as a hydrocele. What are the findings of the hydrocele? Hydrocele present with painless scrotal swelling, may present with pain when found in the presence of scrotal infections, testicular torsion, trauma, or a tumor. What are the sonographic findings of the hydrocele? Sonographically, a hydrocele can present with simple fluid anteriorly to the testes, scrotal wall thickening. A chronic hydrocele may have an internal debris and septations. What is this image? This is how a hydrocele looks like a sonography. A dilated group of veins found within the scrotum is called what? A dilated group of veins found within the scrotum is called varicocele. Varicoceles are caused by incompetent or abnormal valves within what structure? Varicose seals are caused by the incompetent or abnormal valves within the papiniform plexus. What types of varicose seals are most often found on the left and are palpable during the physical examination? Primary varicose seals are often found on the left of the scrotum and palpable during the PE. When found on the right side, this varicocele abnormality may be termed what? Varicocele abnormality on the right side is normally called secondary varicocele. What type of varicocele may be associated with hydronephrosis, hepatomegaly, or a rectal peritoneal neoplasm? Secondary varicocele may be associated with hydronephrosis, hepatomegaly, or a rectal peritoneal neoplasm. Sonographically, a varicocele commonly appears as a group of what? A varicocele commonly appears as a group of anechoic, tubular structure located outside of the testis. What can be used? to diagnose a varicocele. We can use a color doppler and a valsalsa maneuver to diagnose a varicocele. In varicocele, these dilated veins will measure greater than how big? These dilated veins will measure greater than two millimeter. What are the findings of varicocele? Varicocele can present it with palpable extra testicular mass and possible infertility. 
What are the sonographic findings of Vercoxil? Vercoxil appear as a group of anechoic tubular structure located outside of the testis and it's distended vein that fill with color flow when the valsalsa maneuver is performed. Dilated veins um, will be measured greater than two millimeters and possibly associated with hydronephrosis, hepatomegaly, and a retroperitoneal neoplasm if found on the right. What is the in inflammation of the epididymis? The inflammation of the epididymis is called epididymitis. What is the most common cause of the acute testicular pain in adults? The most common cause of testicular pain in adults is epididymitis. What are the clinical findings of epididymitis and epididymorchitis? The clinical findings of epididymitis and epididymorchitis are acute testicular pain, fever, dysuria, urethral discharge, and skin wall edema. What are the sonographic findings of epididymitis and epididymorchitis? Findings of epididymitis and epididymorchitis are enlargement of the entire epididymis, diffuse, enlargement of only part of the epididymis, focal, hypoechoic echo texture of the affected sections of the epididymis hyperemia within the epididymis and or testis, and thick and scrotal wall. How does the testicular microlithiasis look sonographically? The testicular microlithiasis appears as multiple echogenic foci with no acoustic shadowing within the testis. Testicular microlithiasis, tiny calcifications are associated with what conditions? Testicular microlithiasis Tiny calcifications are associated with malignancies, infertility, clinifilter syndrome, and cryptorchidism. Testicular microlithiasis. Tiny calcifications are associated with malignancies, infertility, clinifilter syndrome, and cryptorchidism. Testicular microlithiasis. Tiny calcifications are associated with malignancies, infertility, clinifilter syndrome, and cryptorchidism. What is the most common malignant neoplasm of the testicle? The most common malignant neoplasm of the testicle is seminoma. What are the clinical findings of seminoma? The clinical findings of seminoma are painless scrotal mass, hardening of the testis, and elevated HCG. What are the sonographic findings of seminoma? Seminoma appears as a solid hypoechoic intratesticular mass. What does this image represent? This is how the seminoma looks like. The diameter of a vercocil measure more than how many millimeters? The answer is A, 2 mm. The testes are covered by a fibrous capsule formed by the what? Tunica albuginea, calpus fascia, cremaster muscle, or deltos muscle. The testes are covered by a fibrous capsule formed by the tunica albuginea, A. What are the dimensions of the testes? 6, 3, and 3, 4, 3, 2, 2, 5, 5, or 4, 3, 3. Length, width, and diameter. The answer is 4 cm long, 3 cm in diameter, and 3 cm wide. Sonographic characteristic of normal testes include what? A. Homogeneous pattern of dense internal echoes. B. Homogeneous pattern with low level internal echoes. C. Homogeneous pattern with medium level echoes. 
or D, inhomogeneous pattern with medium level echo. Sonographic characteristics of normal testing include homogeneous pattern with medium level echo. The answer is C. A linear stripe of variable thickness and echogenesis running through the testes in a cranial caudal direction represents what? A. Cowper's fascia, B. Mediastinum testis, C. Epithelial layer, D. Daughter's muscle. The answer is B. The linear stripe is the medium sternum testis. The epididymis is located length to the testis. The answer is D. The epididymis is located posteriorly and superior to the testis. Which one of the following facts about the undescended testis is false? A. The testes originate in the rectal peritoneum at the level of the fetal kidney. B. All undescended testes are found in the inguinal canal. C. Unassociated risk of testicular malignancy can develop. And D. An increased incidence of infertility exists. The answer is B. All undescended testes are found in the inguinal canal. The most common cause of uh, an acute scrotal pain in the adolescent is A. A varicocele, B. Epididymis, C. Testicular torsion, or D. An inguinal hernia. The answer is C. Testicular torsion. Common causes of hydrocele including all of the following except A. Trauma B. Microlithiasis C. Epidymoarchitis or D. Testicular torsion The answer is B. Microlithiasis Which one of the following statements about vacuoles is false? A. Vacuoles refer to dilated uh, subgenius and elongated veins of the papiniform plexus. B. Vesicoceles are commonly on the right side of the scrotum. C. Primary vesicoceles result from incompetent valves of the spermatic vein. Or D. Secondary vesicoceles develop from the compression of the somatic vein. The answer is B. Vesicoceles are common on the right side of the scrotum. A somatocele is always located in which portion of the epididymis? The answer is A, head. A common cause of acute scrotal pain in adults is A, an epidermal cyst, B, epididymal orchitis, C. A somatocyl. D. Testicular torsion. The answer is B. Epidemal orchitis. Which one of the following almost always transpires secondary to epididymitis? The answer is A. Orchitis. Tubular ectasia is the reedy testis is associated with what? A. Hydrocele, B. Vericocele, C. Epidemal cyst, or D. Inguinal hernia. The answer is C. Epidemal cyst. A seminoma of the testicle generally appears on ultrasound as what mass? A. Hypoechoic, B. Complex, C. Hyperechoic or D. Anechoic? The answer is A. Hypoechoic. Epididymal orchitis most commonly result from what? A. Trauma, B. Virus, C. Bladder infection, or D. Sexual transmitted disease? The answer is C. Bladder infection. 
clinical history of vasectomy is associated with A. Testicular torsion B. Sperm granulomas C. Mycolithiasis or D. Vacuoseals The answer is B. Sperm granulomas The primary source of blood flow to the testicles is via what arteries? A. Renal B. Internal iliac C. Testicular or C. Centripetal The answer is C. Testicular arteries Intratesticular cysts have an association with what? A. Spermatocele B. Germ cell tumors C. Hydro hydrocells or D. Mycolithiasis the answer is A. Somatocil. Mycolithiasis of the testis is associated with what? A. Hydrocele B. Inguinal hernia C. Som somatocil spermatocils or D. Malignant neoplasm The answer is D. Malignant neoplasm Follow-up examination of patients with mycolithiasis is recommended A. Semi-annually B. Annually C. Every five years or D. Follow-up is not recommended The answer is B. Annually Attached at the superior pole of the testis between the epididymis and the testis is which one of the following? A. Reti testis B. Mediastinum testis C. Appendic testis or D. Somatocil The answer is C. Appendic testis A hydrocele develops between what? A. Visceral and par parietal layers of the tunica albuginea B. Tunica albuginea or tunica vaginalis C. Parietal and visceral layers of the tunica vaginalis or D. Scrotum and tu tunica alginea The answer is C. Parietal and visceral layers of the tunica vaginalis The Reedy testis is located where? A. At the hilum of the testis B. In the epididymis C. At the superior pole of the testis or D at the inferior pole of the testis? The answer is A at the hilum of the testis. Compared to the testis, the epididymis typically appears A. anechoic, B. hyperechoic, C. hypoechoic, or D. homogeneous. The answer is C. hypoechoic. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this question helped you a little bit. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks again.